Hello everybody and welcome back. Just look at this page, this page of tickets, paging down, scrolling, scrolling, that is a lot of tickets. We've got a hundred rows uh, fetched from our database uh, and they're all appearing on this index page and um, if we'd had, oh, actually 101, if we had a thousand records or, or a, a, even a million rows in our database they would all be retrieved and displayed on this one page which um, it starts to become a little unwieldy so what we're going to do in this video tutorial is look at pagination pagination allows us to fetch only one page of data from the database and display that and it will also give us some uh, pagination controls allowing us to skip to the next page or even the last page and first page and previous page of course. Laravel's uh, pagination handling makes it very easy indeed so uh, what we're gonna do is go to the controller which loads up all these tickets and that would be the ticket controller app HTTP controllers ticket controller and the method is the index method. Now I think it would be good if we get 10 rows at a time so each each page will contain 10 rows of data so watch this how easy it is we're going to replace the get method with pagination and put the number of rows we want in there. Save that let's go over to the page and refresh oh, oh oh call to undefined method pagination because it's not pagination it's paginate the verb not the noun so save that come over here da da so you will notice one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rows of data displayed on the page because we set paginate to 10. But what's missing? How do we get to page 2 or further of the results? Well we need some pagination controls at the bottom so we will add those to the view. Over in resources, views, tickets, index that's the place we need to be and where shall we put it? So we have the table of data here, and we have a div. Okay, I think let's try just outside the table, but within the div. And we'll add the magic ingredient, tickets, links. Save that, and back over on the page. Oh, well, those are the pagination links. They're styled pretty badly, but let's click on page two. Da da. We've got page two. Uh, page 11. Okay, just one, one row on the last page. Yes, the styling for these pagination links is pretty poor, i.e. non-existent. Uh, and I'm thinking it's maybe because of the bootstrap theme that we chose we chose the uh, the dashboard so maybe that that one is incompatible with um, the pagination styling that we need or maybe we messed the CSS up uh, but I'm going to show you now how it should look okay at the risk of breaking everything I'm going to add some authentication scaffolding just so that we can use the layout that gets auto generated so php make auth nope it's php artisan make auth okay done what that has done among other things is create a new layout for us called app.blade.php 
the one that we're using currently is main.blade.php and we stole that from the uh, the dashboard layout from uh, Bootstrap. Um, so what we're going to do is swap over and use this one instead. So let's go to... Where's it gone? Oh yes. Tickets. Index. And we'll replace layouts.main with layouts dot app save that and back over on the index page if we refresh oh now look at that look at these styled pagination buttons fabulous they look so good um, of course we lose the other styling that we did have but um, for the st well for the sake of demonstrating what the uh, pagination buttons should look like that served its purpose.